If you had to choose between visiting a museum or an archaeological site, which would you pick? Well, in Montreal, that choice is made for you. At the Pont de Caliar, the museum was built on top of the archaeological site. In 1992, they were able to build a museum over an archaeological site after 10 years of excavation. May 17, 1992, exactly 350 years to the day after Montreal was founded. Its opening would kick off Montreal's 350th anniversary celebrations. This awesome little square that I have all to myself here today, that is Place Royale, the very first public square in all of Montreal. But what is the most curious is beneath us, because you would never guess, that just 15 feet below your feet, you can see this amazingly well-preserved archaeological site where Montreal actually began back in the 1600s. The Pointe à Calière site held the memory of a whole city from native times to the mid-1950s. It just needed someone to speak for it. Erected on the point of land where Governor Louis-Hector de Calière had his first residence built, the museum is the proud guardian of seven centuries of history. Before we start heading out to explore old Montreal, we are going to Archaeological History Museum, kind of a cool, modern, interesting building as well. This 1992 ultra-modern building is actually an homage to the beautiful Victorian Customs House, which stood here from 1860 to 1951. You can see how the designer mimicked the triangular shape with a tower at its center and a clock in just about the same spot. By using crude materials such as steel, glass, and concrete, the architects managed to create a discrete balance between the new structure and the priceless archaeological remains. When you come to the museum, you start at the ground level and you don't really notice what's hiding underneath. You come down the stairs and you enjoy it yourself. You can feel it. There are remains preserved of the 16th century, 15th century, and before. In the basement of the Pointe à Calière, we actually see the foundations of the city. This is amazing. So right above our head, we have people enjoying Place Royale. Yes. They may or may not know that just a few feet below them, we are standing where Montreal all began. It took a lot of engineering to do that. We have layers of history. You are literally walking blocks under the city. You can see everyone's feet above. As we walk through the underground city, it felt like we had stepped back in time. We saw where the first Catholic church was built and the first cemetery. You'll see Montreal's first cemetery with the graves of natives and French settlers. Underground, you will find the remains of a cemetery, outhouse, a fortification wall, a guardhouse, and buildings that were inhabited by innkeepers. These are the foundations, old foundations of the building in wood. On the intriguing self-guided tour, you walk over models of the old city, representing over six centuries of occupation. Here we are entering the old canalization. Fortunately enough, we're not using them anymore. Next, we walked over to the old site of the St. Pierre River. If we would go back in time, everybody would be swimming right now, because this was the place where the little St. Pierre River was passing. What happened is that they started to build their houses on both sides of the river and put all of their garbage in this little river here. Do you think that water was good to drink? Yeah? No. This is how this little river was transformed into an underground tunnel carrying dirty water. How would you call this? This is really cool. <laughs> and cool. What's oh, cool? I absolutely did not remember how beautiful it was. We also have a tower, and at the top of the tower we have a Belvedere, uh, where you have a beautiful view of Montreal. To me, it's the prettiest view you will ever have of the old city. The museum also hosts music, lectures, debates, and theater throughout the year, but it is most famous for having one of the largest archaeological collections in Canada. Archaeology is important for us to remember the past. It's the only museum where you have an actual archaeological site you can walk in, and it's a unique concept in the whole North America. The museum was really nice. I love going to museums and especially really small local museums that like tell the story of one small place. I just find that so interesting. Extremely interesting museum. I strongly recommend it. It's very really part of the history. The museum's renown and its solid reputation extend far beyond our borders, as shown by the extraordinary recognition and the many awards of excellence it has received.
Pointe à remains the eyes of the historic district of Old Montreal. Today, it is undeniably part of its heart as well.